Oh, dear God bless it. Hey, it's Dr. AJ here. Thanks for being with us. Uh, today we've got a great guest, uh, uh, Liv McDaniel, who is uh, you know, a social media personality, as well as uh, you know, she's got so many things going on in life that, uh, that she's probably one of, the, one of the best guests we've ever had. So, oh. Liv, thank you for being here with us today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Good, so you know, let's just cut to the chase. Obviously, you know, you know, this world we live in nowadays is a social media world, and yes. you know, from everything that I know, you're the queen of that. So, oh why don't gosh. you tell us a little bit about your, about your business, about you know, your background with that, and you yeah, know, yeah. what got you started? Well, I try. I mean, you gotta fake it till you make it. <laughs> so you think I might be the queen, but no, I have a social media marketing business based out of Clearwater. I own, I have a podcast. I own a nonprofit organization. Um, I was an NCAA athlete, and I speak a lot. So very involved in the Tampa Bay area. Just help businesses push forward their social media so that you can focus on what you do best. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. You know what? Let me ask you because you know so many people have their own takes on social media, what's the, what's the maybe the biggest mistake you see people make when it comes to their social media presence? Yeah, I think a lot of people think that quantity is really big when they think, you know, five or seven times a week they should be posting a lot, a lot, just more content, more content, but it's all about quality and, and engaging content. You wanna to talk to your target audience. You know, you can't love a crowd, so you can't just talk to people generally. You need to really target down that audience and mm. pr produce content that gives quality and engaging and that is actually giving them either information or empowering them or inspiring them so that they actually continue to follow. Mm, that's good, that's mm -hmm. great advice, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, so, you know, Obviously here, you know, our main goal is really to kind of find out, you know, different things about the world of health, yeah. you know, work on, you know, maybe some people who've never been adjusted before, kind of give them the, the comfort level of, you know, it's safe to get adjusted. Yeah. Um, you know, so let's talk a little about your past life yeah. before you got into <laughs> social media, you know, queendom. Uh, so <laughs> I love it. You said you, so you were an NC uh, 2A athlete, soccer yeah. player, correct? Yeah, I was. Uh, and uh, I know you were a goal scorer, captain of your That's team. That's right. <laughs> uh, where'd you go to school and, and what position did you play? Tell me, tell me about that. Yeah, so. yeah, I went to Palm Beach Atlantic University in Palm Beach, Florida, and I was a forward. So yeah, I do like to score goals. If I wasn't scoring goals, I was really upset. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't just want to block the goals, I want to score them. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, obviously, you know, when you're, when you're, you know, down by the the, go, the goal end of the of the, of the yeah. field, you know you're you're going to be aggressive. Right. Uh, you know, I know you said you've had some neck injuries and things yes. like that. You know, from you know headers and things like that. Any yeah. really bad injuries that you can you can think of? Yeah, I actually had a goalie kick me in the head many times. I ran my head into the goalpost a few times. I uh, headbutted this girl and we fell. I slid about five feet. All the skin on my ear came off. I got a really bad concussion. So. For starters. Yeah, so <laughs> beauty and a beast, right? <laughs> Thank so, you. So. I always I lead with you can be feminine and fierce. Oh, I like that's that. That's kind of what I lead with. So. Well, that's good. That's good. You know, so no fear, right? Or if there's, no if you're fear. afraid, you just you do it anyway, right? You just literally go for it. <laughs> okay. So you know, so so you've had obviously some major major injuries. Yeah. I think you also said you had some scoliosis, right? So you kind of grew yeah. up with that, and uh, I grew up with scoliosis, and over the years, it's gotten a little bit worse. I think I don't know if I'm kicking so much, my hips getting out of alignment. Um, but I definitely need to work on that. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we'll definitely take a look at that for sure. Um, as far as right now, are, are you finding on a daily basis you're, you're dealing with some degree of discomfort or pain, or is it only like if, you, if you're more active? When, when do you find that you, you feel that the most? Yeah, I think the more I'm sitting, definitely I get a lot of pain go on the right side of my back, especially because my hips are so out of alignment. Um, but I'm always bothered. I'm always either doing something crazy with my shoulder to try to ease the pain, um, but I just haven't taken the time to take care of my back. <laughs> okay, well, you're definitely in the right spot yeah. <laughs> today. So, and then, you know, uh, you know, kind of flipping the script a little bit, you know, aside from the sports, and you also have kind of a, an, another, you know, avenue that you, you know, you were involved in some, some, some beauty pageants, and yeah. uh, I know you were Miss Bel Air, and then eventually yep. in the competition for Miss Florida. How was yes. that experience in terms of, of, you know, your development? Yeah, that was a wild experience for me, because it's funny, my, one of my best friends, she was Miss Florida, and she placed in Miss America, one bikini there, and so we were actually evacuating for a hurricane, and we were watching Miss America, and it was almost a joke of, Liv, you should compete. 
And I was just like, I'm an, I'm an athlete. I'm not a beauty girl. Like, I've never done pageants in my entire life. But then I ended up just going for it. And since I have a nonprofit organization, it was kind of a great platform to, to use for that and gain business and networking opportunities. So that's why I did it. And then I competed. And it was a really cool experience. It was something <laughs> I've never done before. So walking in eight-inch heels across the stage in a bikini was definitely an empowering moment. Um, but it was really cool. It was really cool. A little bit different than cleats and kicking a soccer ball, right? It was way different. Okay. Yes. So um, tell us a little bit about this nonprofit that you have. How can people find that, yeah, you know, yeah, if they yeah. want to donate to it or, you know, what's, a, what's, a, what's, you know, some contact information for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started a nonprofit back in 2014 called She. It's all about empowering women to be the best she can be through physical, mental, spiritual health. So I was hosting free boot camps every single week. We would have... A massive event every year that had over 500 women there for a big boot camp. We had about 45 different vendors from the Tampa Bay area that came oh, out wow. and support it. And then I also launched a women's ministry from that for the spiritual aspect of it. So I do have a faith-based side where I have big women's conferences and I speak and have guests on my podcast. So I stay really busy. <laughs> it sounds like it. sounds like yeah. it. Well, they always say if you want something done, give it to a busy person. That's right. Uh, you know, I love that. I actually have two daughters. So the fact that you're, cool. you're doing things to empower women going forward yes. is, is, is a great, you know, a great avenue. So it's, it's good to see. And, yeah. uh, you know, obviously with what we're seeing in the world today, obviously, you know, we have Kamala Harris as vice president. And, mm -hmm. you know, so things like that, I think, yeah. you know, we're going to see hopefully even more, yeah. uh, you know, progress in that. So yeah, let's that. go ahead and take a look at you. I want perfect. you to lay face it up for me first. Okay, okay perfect. All right, so I can definitely see right off the bat, you know, you know, just how your hips uh, and your balance is affected. So as we're seeing here, um, you know, I've got this right leg drawn short, almost a, a full half an inch mm -hmm. than this um, than this left side. Now, certainly when you have scoliosis, mm -hmm. spinal curvatures help with that, uh, you know, causing those type of discrepancies, but also any type of discrepancy of muscular tightness on one yeah. side versus the other. So let's just go ahead and do a couple of checks here in your hips. I'm just going to put a little pressure in there. Yeah, and I can see for you a lot of it is muscular. Just doing that, I mean, I, we dropped it down to about a quarter of an inch difference. So there's definitely a lot going on muscularly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to work a little bit on this hip flexor. So how many hat so tricks funny. did you score? Oh my gosh, it's actually a funny fact. I don't ever talk about you know my scoring record or anything, but I definitely I hold the scoring record at a high school. Really? <laughs> Most schools scored, and I ended up missing like seven games. So it was really funny that I still broke. So it, you missed the, the seven games yeah, that season, and you broke the I school still record. Broke the school record. Is it, do you still hold it now? Yeah, I still hold it. Which high school was that? Uh, that was at Clearwater. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> How many goals did you score that season? I have no idea. No? <laughs> I was one of those people that could care less about stats. As long as I'm scoring every game, I was, I was good. <laughs> there you go. And we're winning. <laughs> Yeah, those are the two. So you, you know the you know the good, it's, sports are great. You know you know getting that that team camaraderie. Yeah. You know, but also the chance to still excel as an individual is great too. For sure. Okay, I want you to lay on your side, oh. face that direction for me. Okay. So gonna be just like that. Oh dear God, bless it. Just relax right there. So I've got a, a, an instrument. Uh, it's a it's a Theragun type oh, instrument. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and use that on you here. I love this. This this little unit here is by this company called uh, Lots Fit. Uh, they call it a, a you know a, a portable massage gun as opposed to a Theragun, but it's great. It's compact. It's portable. I mean, you can stick this in your purse, uh, but it's pretty strong. Let's go ahead and have you lay back on your back for okay. me. And we're gonna open that hip back up this way. Oh, Sorry, that's gonna no be tender. Oh, God. Oh. So I'm gonna sound like, to, to the people who listen to us regularly, you're, I'm gonna kinda of sound like a repeating drum here. <laughs> but, um, so when it comes to hip mm -hmm. flexibility, like you talked about, you know, mm -hmm. quality, 
When you're doing the stretches, try to do stretches that are three to five minutes long, especially for you that'll help open your hips yeah. up. Okay. You don't have to force it down muscularly. Mm -hmm. You can help it or assist it with your hands, yeah. but even just laying like this and just letting the body weight of your, of your kneecap mm -hmm. force down is gonna help free this up flexibility-wise. Okay. So really good for you to do that. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's better. Lay face that way for me. All right, go ahead and lay on your stomach. I want to check that rib cage out. So a lot of times when there's scoliosis involved, definitely makes easier for rib heads to pop out. So we're just going to kind of just work down your ribs on both sides. Good over there. I think my right side is the one. Yeah. Okay, lay on your back for me one more time. Okay. Can I have you cross your arms? Yeah. All right, hold just like that. Come up to me like you're doing a sit-up. I want you to take a deep breath in. Let your breath all the way out. Oh! There we go. I think that'll help that a lot. <laughs> Lift your hands up. So, thinking about switching from sports into pageantry, um, any, any interesting moments through the process of that for you? Um, training was a lot different. Yeah. Obviously, because I'm so used to doing a lot of hit circuit training, speed and agility training, all that fun stuff. So when they told me to walk on the treadmill for an hour every day. Was that difficult? And nothing else besides that and abs, that was, that, was annoying. <laughs> was that boring for you? It was so boring. I don't know how people can do that. Lift your hands for me. That's, yeah, that. Um, but yeah, it was funny like dealing with just girls that have done pageants their whole lives. There's just a different uh, feel, you know, when it comes from like a team. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Just relax, lift both hands up for me. I definitely uh, didn't put makeup on to go on the field, so going everywhere with a full face of makeup was fun. How about just in terms of the um, the way the girls within the pageant are, you know, your competitors, or so to speak. Oh, they're competitive. Yeah. They definitely do not lack competition. Turn face this way. Um, good. Just a whole different type of competing. Yeah. So what would you say to, to those girls out there who are saying, okay, you know, maybe that's something that they would want to do. How would you, how would you, how would you advise them? Oh my them? gosh. I would just say be yourself. Um, just embrace who you are. Don't try to be like anyone else. Um, we, I always say comparison is the thief of joy. So the moment you start comparing yourself to other girls, um, it takes away all the joy inside of it. So you just have to have fun and embrace the process. And if you lose, you lose, but it's going to open up doors and, you know, God, I'm a firm believer in faith. And so he's going to open up the right doors that are supposed to be open up and the right relationships and it's going to have the fun with the process. Good. Yeah. Well, I think that's some great advice. Well, obviously, you're a great individual <laughs> and a certainly you. unique human being, so I appreciate you being out. Thanks Thank for being you. here today. Of course.